In Basil's garden, he and Lord Henry sit in the sun smoking cigars and talking of Basil's latest portrait of Dorian Gray. Basil says he doesn't want Henry corrupting Dorian when they hear music playing from inside the house. Dorian is sitting behind the piano and finishes asking to see the finished portrait that he spoke so highly of. From the first moment he heard her singing, it was love at first sight. I gladly mate with you. I love you, little yellow bird, but I love my freedom too. So goodbye, little yellow bird. I'd rather brave the cold on a leafless tree than a prisoner be in a cage of gold. But Lord Henry persuaded Dorian that he didn't need to marry her. She waited and waited, but Dorian never arrived. Sybil's reputation was ruined and she took her own life. Dorian was the gossip of all London. Everyone was talking about his scandalous ways, but it all went quiet as Dorian walked into the club. It was a misty evening and Dorian Gray had just come out of one of his most notorious opium dens. Dorian was walking alone when along came Basil, who insisted on talking to Dorian at his house. Dorian and Basil entered Dorian's house and walked up to the attic. When Basil sees a purple velvet cloth covering the portrait he painted, he is shocked. Dorian and Basil argued about the rumours going on about him, and Basil wanted to know if they were true, so he got Dorian to unveil the portrait. Dorian had realised that Basil had seen his soul, and he couldn't let word get out in public. He grabbed a knife and plunged it into the back of Basil. Dorian needed some help from an old friend, a scientist which he could blackmail. Dorian wrote a letter to the scientist to help him get rid of Basil's body. The scientist took the acid and pulled it over the corpse of Basil. He watched his body burn to pieces and blew him away. The scientist couldn't live with himself. He had done such an evil deed, he hanged himself in guilt. Dorian realises he doesn't want this corrupted life and decides he wants to change once and for all. Taking a knife, he stabs at the painting. Before his dying eyes, the painting walked back into normal, leaving the most horrific corpse lying on the floor. It was not till they had examined the rings that they recognised who it was.